You are a natural born salesman. But you have to find the thing that gives you that charge. I I'm supposed to ask you for a tour. These are stinging nettles. Can I pick one? You harvest them. Got it. Use it in a sentence. I should have harvested my eggs. Hey guys, Jim Halterman, TV Guide Magazine and TV Insider. Nice to see you both. You um, too. You, Jim. I'm watching these episodes and Amy, I'm having my own childhood flashbacks watching Beth's childhood flashbacks. Yes. Is that is that what you were going for? Because it's a really effective piece though, to really get inside this character and your heart breaks a little bit for what this young girl has gone through. That is so encouraging to hear. That is what I want. Like by making it really personal and specific, I was hoping that people would would connect to it and, and think about their own teenage years. So that's incredible to hear. Okay. Well, we see that Beth, either young Beth or current day Beth, gets some wins in her life. Because what I'm watching, like she's taken a lot of knocks, at least in the first half of the series. What do we see moving forward beyond that? Um, yeah, I, I, while we were making it, I was like, we got to give her some good moments. And for a yeah, win. I mean, I think like much like, you know, the teen, the teen years, like for me personally, the good moments mostly came with your friends, like, you know, with, with your good friends in between in between heartbreaks and traumas but I don't know about you but the I mean those teen years are brutal so they're tough. they're tough Michael did you have any and you're not in those scenes but just being a part of the show did you have any of those moments to kind of look back at your own life and think about stuff that happened to you when you were younger uh, I think kind of you're if you're a if you're a somewhat even somewhat introspective person you're doing that often and evaluating you know what what's going on inside of you and where it comes from maybe and uh you know how much of it is within your control or not yeah it all comes from childhood Michael okay. you told me that you never had a bad day <laughs> <laughs> still good it's just trying to keep it going yeah it's been great so far it's a good okay. time there always also in the episodes I've seen I've seen the half of them so I still have the other half to go but I'm rooting for Beth and John I like them together but it, they seem to kind of be just off off kilter a little bit like <laughs> things go well then they kind of go off but can you talk about just first what what attracts them to each other like Amy what is what what does Beth see in him I think he's different than anyone Beth's ever met before um I think people are so performative in their um in their way of dealing with each other and sort of how they represent themselves I think it's really disarming to her to meet someone who's so honest and um you know doesn't like there's there's no inner monologue that's different from what he's saying and I think yeah I think it just disarms her and and winds up being really appealing but but also can be a little jarring and so yeah you're gonna see more of those moments where they have a little bit of trouble communicating Okay. And Michael, how was, how was it for you to play that, to play a character that's so honest and just says what he thinks, whether it's a little on the mean side sometimes, or at least just brutally honest, but how was that for you? I really like that. I mean, it's true. Sometimes things can uh, be received as, you know, mean, even though I, it feels like with a person like John, uh, who reminds me of a lot of people that I know in life, there's no malice, you know, intended, uh, which it leaves it kind of up to you to decide how it makes you feel hearing something that maybe feel like strikes a nerve you know I think that's why it's really important to uh, have those people around because sometimes it can just penetrate like a thing that nobody can really talk about or call out and there's just no ambiguity you know the person will just go straight to the thing and put it out so I, I it, it's great to play a part like that and to uh, and it kind of inspires you to try and be you know very authentic you know whenever you can even though most of us have to, you know, send every thought through like a filtration system, how it's going to affect the, the listener and how they're going to think of us and, you know, and all of these million little editing choices that we have to make. Make sure to click the subscribe button below this video and watch Life and Beth on Hulu starting March 18th.